In this video, we're going to find the linear correlation coefficient r for pair data, as well as the slope and y-intercept for the regression line. First, we're going to enter our data values into our list editor. We'll go to data, and if we have any lists that have to be cleared out, we'll hit data again. I'm going to go ahead and clear list one. Now, I have a list of some values here to practice with. I have exactly five ordered pairs. I'll enter the x values into list one, and then I'll scroll over and enter the y values into list two. Make sure that you have the same number of values in both lists or you will receive an error. Now we're going to run the regression command, which is second and data. And we're going to scroll down to where it says linear regression AX plus B. A word of caution, the TI36X Pro does not have a linear regression A plus BX option like the TI83 and 84 does. It is the same command. It's just treating what A and B stand for in the opposite way. So if you watch the video for the TI83 and 84, Linear regression A plus BX treats A as the y-intercept and B as the slope. This command is going to reverse um, those assignments. So we're going to hit linear regression. Our X data is in list 1. Our Y data is in list 2. We're going to keep the frequency at 1. Um, we could ask for the regression equation to be stored or not. It doesn't matter. When we hit calculate, we will have A, B, and then for R, we'll have to scroll down, and there it is. So for this particular example, R is approximately 0 0.910, and then let's write our regression equation. Recall that A here is our slope, so this is 2.1x, and then B is our y-intercept. So in this case, A is slope, and B is the y-intercept, which again is the opposite as the video for the TI-83 and 84.